Hello Last Placers, it's time to talk Nintendo. So if you've ever watched or heard the LPF show, you'll probably think that I'm a Nintendo hater. Of IPs, because they're just overdoing it, man. Overdoing there goes it. our channel, boys. There Bro, goes our channel. Hey, listen. And while that would be a valid assessment, it's not necessarily true. I, just like many, many other people, do in fact love Nintendo, I just wish they were to get with the times a little bit more. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I think Nintendo needs to drop their old IPs to start new ones and what it can do to help make that happen. The issue is that Nintendo spending a lot of resources, both time and money on their older franchises when they could be working on new, innovative and interesting IPs. The last few IPs they've released have been Splatoon, Arms and Ring Fit. And while, yes, technically these are new IPs, I don't consider them to be really interesting or groundbreaking or anything like that. Yes, ARMS is innovative and, again, a new IP, but it just doesn't have that same sticking power that something like Mario or Zelda might have. And also, those games just appear very shallow to me, like there's not very much depth and there's not much to come back to. I don't know. To be fully transparent, I've yet to play Splatoons or ARMS, but or Ring Fit for that matter. But just from an outsider's perspective, I just don't see anything interesting in these games. Now, that's not to say that there isn't an audience out there for these type of games. And I do know that Nintendo generally goes towards the younger generation, whereas PlayStation and Xbox will go towards the more mature with the games that are more tailored towards them. So, in a way, I know I can't expect much from a company that makes games mostly for kids. I've been pretty much just frustrated seeing the same games rehashed year over year. The same Mario platforming game, the same Pokemon game essentially now. Everything has been nearly identical as far as games go, game mechanics, stuff like that. The newest innovation probably would have been Breath of the Wild, which was, yes, a great game. So you might be asking, okay, why would Nintendo stop making the games that are making them money like crazy? Well, honestly, there's no reason for them to stop. If you keep getting money and you're keeping your stocks up and your shareholders happy, they have nothing to lose. I think the other problem is that Nintendo has just been so stubborn over all these years that they refuse to change and try newer things, especially when it comes to the higher ups on the company, probably older men who are just stuck in their old ways. And I feel like if they were to just branch out just a little bit more and try a little bit harder, maybe they would see new stuff, more new people coming into their uh, ecosystem, and it would be great for everybody. So then what would be the fix to this issue? I think Nintendo should branch out and try to get more support from the Western developers out there, such as Valve or Respawn or Activision. Have them work with them to bring new games to the Switch or future consoles, maybe even exclusives, which are subjectively a bad idea nowadays since that's more of an old in the past thing. Most people can agree that console exclusivity kind of sucks now, so maybe not make them exclusive, but maybe work with them to have a, a unique experience for the Switch. Okay, so say that Nintendo does take all their old franchises and sets them aside. How are they gonna make money? Well, one big way, and this is something that I've always just, it's always boggled my mind, is just bring back <clears throat> older games that people want to play to the eShop of the current console. It just, it never made any sense to me why they wouldn't bring all those popular games to one eShop. And now it doesn't have to be specifically every single title, maybe just the best selling in the series, like uh, most Pokemon or all the Animal Crossings or all the older Marios. Bring all those games to the eShop. So if I wanted to play Pokemon X and Y, for example, which I just happened to have the urge to want to do the other day, I realized that I couldn't do it. And that's kind of frustrating because it's Nintendo. And according to them, they want to keep older games on the console that they came out on, which is just, it's just to me, plain and simple, it's stupid. It's like, they're saying, no, we don't want your money. Forget about it. If you want to play this game, go back to your old console and play it there. That's dumb. That's dumb. I'm sorry. From a shareholder's perspective, I'd be like, why aren't you offering these people the option to play these games on the new consoles? It's not like the Switch can't handle these older games. There's not one game that is too intensive for the Switch to handle. I mean, look at what it can do with Breath of the Wild. Any other game released beforehand should be able to handle it. It's almost like as if Nintendo doesn't like money, but I don't understand. It's like they're not even trying hard, yet they are getting so much money 
but they can be getting even more. See, that's what makes me sit here and be like, why are you being so dumb, Nintendo? Who doesn't like more money? Stop being dumb, release those games on the Switch. Now, with all that being said, I'm not saying that the Marios and Zeldas and Pokemons are bad games. They are franchises that are beloved by millions and millions of players, and there's nothing wrong with them. My issue is the constant rehash of the series instead of actually innovating even within the franchises themselves. And of course, they're not gonna stop making these games because they are their main source of revenue. They make crazy amounts of money. What I'm saying is that maybe they could benefit from putting these games franchises on hiatus, therefore allowing their developers more time to make truly original and very interesting new IPs that they could bring to the Switch or future consoles. Let the developers create new characters, new worlds, new game mechanics, and just let them use the, the full functionality of the Joy-Cons. Let those shine and show what the Switch can truly do. Nintendo is known for making innovative consoles for sure, so why can't they do the same thing with games? Spend some time on doing that, focusing on creating truly innovative games like ARMS, which was a very innovative thing that used the Joy-Cons do something like that but make it more involved more meaty not just something that's pretty much just multiplayer make a story around that somehow make people love using the joy cons again nintendo please put those franchises away for a few years give your developers resources time to create truly new innovative stuff and see what they can come up with just like gorilla was given the chance to make horizon after doing kill zone for years and years you see what they did they did a great job and I'm sure a lot of those developers in there would love to branch out and try new things. Now I know Nintendo is very very stubborn as a lot of people know as well and nothing's probably going to change as long as they keep making money but eventually these titles will stop, they will slow down, they won't make them as much money and hopefully by that time they will have some kind of backup to them, something that could take over for the Pokemon. Maybe Nintendo will buy Temtems, if you ever heard of that game. Or maybe they'll figure out the next Mario game. Personally, I'm not crazy about platformers, so if they do away with the Mario platforming, I'd personally be okay with that. But realistically though, for what I wanna see from Nintendo, they're actually gonna have to try really hard on their next console and make it beefy, make it compete directly with the new Xbox and PlayStation. I feel like I am maybe expecting too much and a lot of people might think the same, but I think it's doable. I think Nintendo will eventually play with the big boys and release new stuff on really powerful consoles. If not, then oh well, at least we have something comforting to sit back on. So yeah, to clarify, no, I'm not a Nintendo hater. I love Nintendo. I played a lot of the games for many, many hours. I just wish they would truly try to innovate. All right, guys, that was it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because at 50 subs here on YouTube and then 50 followers on Twitch, we will be doing a mouse giveaway. So please make sure you're subscribed. And if you would like to help the channel out, make sure to share this stuff with your friends if you think they would like this. Also, don't forget that we have a live show every Tuesday over on twitch.tv slash lastplacefireteam. Make sure to follow us there. Thank you so much for watching. Last Place Fire Team out.